I've always believed that the first step of being really good at something is being really bad at something. I'm not in Japan yet, so if you haven't watched my last video, I don't go to Japan until July of 2020. If you're watching this video after July of 2020, then I recommend watching the videos of me in Japan. The purpose of this video is going to be showing you guys how I got to the point where I can start making videos. Part one, learning how to use software. I spent a while kind of debating if I should go with hardware or software first. So I kind of just started with software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just choose a software. As you can see, there are quite a few available. I personally chose Premiere Pro because I was able to get a student discount on it. So if you're a student, definitely recommend the Adobe, whole Adobe suite. It's like 20 bucks a month and it includes Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop. So then I needed a place to actually learn how to edit. Lynda.com had great tutorials, a whole section on how to start Premiere Pro start to finish. So I worked through that and got to the point where I feel at least decently confident in the basics of Premiere Pro. And then after that, I moved on to After Effects because that's how I made my intro and got the basics kind of down there. Luckily, since they're all part of the same suite, it was really easy to go from one to the next to the next because they all had similar like, shortcut keys and buttons to click to like recenter screen and stuff like that. So it was really easy to go from Premiere to After Effects to Photoshop. Um, I use Photoshop for also making like my YouTube banner that's on my thing. And I also got a license for music. So all the music that I'm playing on all my videos is all licensed because I bought a one year license from this website called artlist.io which also has a sister company called artgrid.io which is like free, well not free, but you have to pay for a license for stock footage which I didn't think I needed because I can just shoot the, all the footage I needed. Those things to look into if you're getting into starting YouTube. Part two, assembling the hardware. I have this camera that I'm using to shoot right now. It's a Sony RX100 7. It's a sweet camera, just shooting in 4K. I have this microphone, which is like a wireless something or other. This guy, which is another just, uh, what's it called? Shotgun microphone. Got this nice soft background drop. Oh, oh come down. This, which is like a studio microphone for recording voiceover. And then I have a gimbal, which can be used as a camera stabilizer for like really cinematic sweeping shots of areas. And that's pretty much it for the hardware. Um, that's pretty much how I got started from YouTube, going from being bored in quarantine to learning how to edit and getting some hardware. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit a like, subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you guys next time.